Here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today in 60 seconds or less. The FDA has approved a new HIV treatment, which is an injection that you would get once every six months, so twice a year, that seems to be as good, if not better, than our current options for HIV treatment. Compared to other drugs, it reduced HIV rates by 89%, 96% compared to two other drugs, but people are concerned that the price of it's going to be a reason why a lot of people don't end up getting it, so we'll have to find out. A new CDC report is showing that unintentional falls are actually increasing compared to the early 2000s, and the amount of people who are dying from that is also going up. The FDA is planning on changing how they approve certain key drugs. So currently how it works is that it takes about 10 to 12 months and able to get a drug approved by the FDA after all of your trials, but it seems like they're trying to do it for very specific ones, which they think will be the most benefit to society that they'll get it done in one to two months. Part of the ways they're going to do this is by allowing individuals to submit their information earlier, as well as having a team review it instead of individual groups at a time doing the review for the drug. Separately, all 50 states and Washington, D.C. have signed on to a $7.4 billion settlement when it comes to the overuse of opioid drugs, specifically OxyContin, by the manufacturer of Purdue Pharma. They're essentially suggesting that there was improper marketing for it, which is a big reason why the opioid pandemic was a big issue in the United States. If you want all the health information that we talked about today, you can find my Substack with all the links to it. Or if you just want to help support my page, you can also find links for that in my bio. I'll see you tomorrow.